I was um, tossing my ball <laughs> last night. It's one of them. So before, this is... Bubbles in a box. Ta-da! Well, hello and welcome back to my shed here in Norfolk. If you're regular, good to... If you're regular, if you're regular, you're eating plenty of fibre. Um, if you are regular in these parts, good to see you again. If you're new here, my name's Nick and I sell stuff. Here's the stuff on the internet. That's my job. That's how I earn a living. And on this channel, we talk about exactly that. Now, I don't know if you can hear the drummer. The mystery drummer who lives that way, but he's... He's going for it. You probably can't pick it up and I'm just standing here looking like an idiot. Anyway, um, nothing new there. It's Monday and I thought... I would chat to you lot whilst um, sorting out what has to be dispatched today. Got a bunch of stuff going out on eBay and we also held an auction last night here on the channel. The last auction we're going to do for a while, we're going to mix things up um, and come back to the auctions later in the year, I think. We've done five or six of these, not sure how many. Um, went really well last night. Thank you to everybody who got involved, uh, those who chose to bid and those who won some items. I'm gonna run through that, um, unpack the box, show you what sold last night, and then we'll get the laptop and we will pick everything else from in here that has sold. And maybe we'll talk a little bit about our business and what we do. Uh, we've had quite a lot of new subscribers, so we'll run over what we do and how we do it in here. Um, so that's the plan. So last night we sold off a bunch of stuff here on YouTube on auction, um, one lot with some of this uh, uh, ribbon, wired ribbon. It has wire down the edges so you can pose it. Uh, pack of three of those. I don't have the list to hand of the people who bought which item. Oh my God, that's not a sentence. I don't know who bought what. So, but thank you very much everybody who purchased. Uh, one of the World of Warcraft gaming mats I've got to package, a pair of the beach blankets, two different designs. <clears throat> uh, this rather attractive vase. It's a Foster's. That's going out. Oh, uh, you may have seen. If... Oh, it's on. It's still on. I was um, tossing my ball <laughs> last night. We sold this. That's my high school. I'm not doing it now. Oh, maybe I am. No, I'm not. I've dropped it. I've dropped the ball. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. That's sold. Oh. We sold a Bop at Tetris as well. This rather cool uh, Hulk ceramic mug I'm going to sleep. go on then go to sleep a ceramic uh oh nearly said chicken duck <laughs> another mug this rubik's mug love that that's going out one of the cat bags oh we've got a load of cat bags sold on ebay um i've actually bought down already we're not going in the loft apologies if you wanted to go up in the loft it's not happening today I've already got some more cat bags. We can open that up and fill up up here again. Because look, there's two there and we've sold a bunch on eBay. So they've gone. Um, oh, that's something that has sold on eBay, which happens to be in this box. We also sold on the, at the auction. That's heavy. This is all bubbles. Bubbles in a box. Ta-da! All pretty colours. And we re-auctioned these uh, mid-century stainless steel candle holders. Um, and that's everything. That's from last night. So I've got to package all of that up. And then if I grab the laptop and get set up, we'll see what's sold on eBay as well. Okay, so we are now all set up over here. We can pick what has sold on eBay. So I said before about 
I would explain how we run our business and what our business is. Um, essentially, our business today is pretty much what you see here. We sell exclusively on the internet now. We used to have high street outlets. Um, we ran a very busy high street store for nearly a decade. Um, we came out of retail quite a while ago. We've gone back to internet only. And these days we are primarily eBay. Used to do a lot of Amazon. We do a bit of Etsy these days, but it's mostly eBay and we sell a mixture of used and new stuff. This sort of um, wholesale uh, has been quite a big part of the business since we moved up to Norfolk. Um, but we do we do both. The wholesale complements our secondhand stuff. Uh, we kind of mix it up a bit. So you'll see a good cross section of what we sell actually in this picking video. Um, a good mix of new and secondhand bits and bobs. Um, so let's start. Let's go down to the bottom of the list. We have sold some more heat transfer paper. So a few months ago, a big van load of stuff turned up and it was all of this. Uh, this is all, um, some of it's bankrupt stock as in businesses that have gone out of business. Some of it's end of line, that sort of stuff. We buy stuff in bulk that's already in the system here in the UK and get it as cheap as we possibly can and then sell it on eBay. Um, so we had a load of these, there you go, one, two, and we are nearly sold out of these now. They go out at 10 pounds a pack. Uh, one customer has bought two, so that's good. And then we buy a lot of used stuff. We buy used stuff from car boot sales, yard sales, uh, sometimes at auction, um, wherever we can get hold of it, really. And yeah, a, a complete range of stuff. My wife tends to deal with the vintage homewares, the ceramics, the glass, that sort of stuff. Speaking of which, we have sold Studio Pottery Avocado Dish Set times four. Uh, they've gone out at £20 plus the postage. They're quite, ha ha, here they are. Quite striking, these. I remember picking these up. These were at a, a yard sale event, a jumble trail, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we both thought, oh, they're stunning. Uh, so that little, we think they are avocado dishes. That's what they're designed for. You can tell by the shape, really. A set of four, rather nicely done. Studio pottery, gorgeous colors. And those have gone out, been listed for a little while and finally sold at 20 plus post. My arm is aching already holding you up. Shall I perch you on a box? I'll put you up there on the cat bags. I'll try that. I might have to take you with me when I go and find stuff. So there's a note. The note on here says, Hi Nick, thanks for accepting my offer. I love watching your videos. I hope I will be in your next picking YouTube film. That's from Robert. Well, here you are, Robert. You've bought a pack of four of the nano tapes. Um, these are starting to get low. We started with 500 of these. These, this is nano tape. It's used for sticking things to surfaces. Uh, it has quite a few different uses actually. Fascinating stuff. And we're doing these in packs of four. So thank you, Robert, for those. Um, yeah, starting to get low. I think we are well under 100 left. We started with 500, so it's been incredibly popular. And another pack going out today. Um, I'll put you up there again. Uh, right, secondhand stuff. We have sold a Lego Elves set, which should be in here. So this was missing a lot of stuff, but it has the main dragon in there. The figures are missing, the extra bits and bobs are missing, all declared, obviously. Uh, and then we listed it at £10 just for the dragon and the box. There's very little in there, uh, but that has now gone. That's good. And then we've sold some of the bubbles to Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Hope you're doing well. I think you bought a CD as well, didn't you? 
So these, we had loads of bubble stuff. We had little bubble machines. Uh, those have all gone. We had um, concentrated bubble solution used to sit in here as well. That all went. So we've got these packs of the bubbles left. They've been quite slow, but they've started to pick up. Now it's summer, people are out and, out and about in their garden. I think that's going to pick up now. You bought, yeah, Nirvana Nevermind on CD as well, which is great. They can ship together. Here we go. Right on top. What a classic. So, thank you very much, Matthew. Get back to where we were. Uh, three James Blunt CDs. Uh, it's not those. It's these. Can you see? I picked these up at a jumble trail. A lady had a whole load of different James Blunt stuff. Ready-made bundle. Three of his albums. Uh, there wasn't much in it. His stuff sold in big numbers. Uh, he still sells in big numbers today and it's it's all very common stuff. So I bundled the three together for seven pounds. It will still go as a large letter, so postage is, is relatively cheap. Um, but yeah, happy to get a quick sale on those. Oh yes, we've sold the Shaken Stevens DVD. Now you may have seen a recent, I'm gonna pop you up here again. Oh, my arm is aching today. Um, you may have seen the recent video where I shared about, I shared a stack of 10 pence media. I bought a big stack from a stall, all 10 p each. Uh, and I shared how I'm likely to do from that. And the one standout DVD in there was a Shaking Stevens DVD, which I suggested would sell for £25 on its own. It cost me 10p. Well, it's sold. So, let me just find it. Hello, where are you, Shaking Stevens? Somewhere in here. I hope. It should be. Oh, it's right there. Right in front of me. So there it is. And it has gone for 25. And uh, very happy with that. We've also sold from that video the... I had a, I have five Formula One DVDs. Uh, again, 10 pence each from the same store. They sold as a bundle. One buyer bought the lot. Uh, they weren't listed altogether. But they bought all of the lots. And it came to, I think it was £26. So we are off to a good start from the 10p media. Next, so from the van load of stock again that we've been selling off for the last few months, if you followed the channel, you'll remember this stuff, all this new stock here did sp span this whole row of shelves all the way to the end. Uh, it's now, what's left is pretty much just here and a little bit under the bench and a little bit in the loft. Um, but most of it has gone now. What am I looking for? Oh, coat hooks. We have sold another pack of eight of those. So that's good. Right, so dog or cat travel bags. We have sold one, two, three, three in a row there. Uh, we've already got the one that we sold at auction. Another one there, four. So we need another four. There's two up there, but we might as well just grab them out of here. Or I'll just show you the one. That's what they are. Little bags to put all of your pet's stuff in. Food and whatever else. Keep it all neat and tidy in one place and take it with you on holiday. So I can just pick another four out of there and what's left, we get eight in these. We'll stow up there. So that's good. Those are going so well at the minute. Then we have sold, where am I, where am I? Um, peck Sniffs, Peck Sniffs Forest Therapy. Let me put you down again. It's this, we got this at a yard sale uh, event only last week, I think it was. Um, unused, it is Peck Sniffs Forest Therapy Happiness Room Spray. Uh, I think it was listed at twelve ninety nine. We had an offer in at ten, plus post on top, so thirteen fifty all in, and it's gone. I think we paid a pound for it. it might have been fifty p. Uh, so that's good. 
Now this item has been listed for ages. We got this at a tiny little car boot sale. Um, yeah, local to us here. And it just hasn't been selling. I've sold this very, very item before. This is, this is a Duplo police station. It's a vintage uh, one. They don't make them like this anymore. It's been on at, I think it was on originally at 12 99 and then we dropped it to 10 and we had an off coming of nine and it's been on plenty of time. So we let that go on offer. That's good. Um, right, the Build-A-Bear stuff has been doing well and we have sold a single coconut one. Uh, individually, they're on at 10 and then we have different size bundles and then we sold a bundle of all eight as well. So let's grab those. So you may not have seen, but recently these all arrived. These are Build-A-Bear, let me grab one. That's the coconut one. Build-A-Bear Sentiments. Uh, smelly little discs that you put inside a teddy bear. Oh, I know. Great. <laughs> and then somebody else has bought one. We have eight different scents. One, I guess the very happy with that let's pop those down over here somewhere so as you can see the mix of our stock um it's a lot of used stuff and then a lot of this stuff that we buy in bulk and it, they complement each other. The used stuff we love because the margins tend to be much better uh, and we get the thrill of the hunt of going out looking for this stuff. We never know quite what we're going to find and we really enjoy that side. And then this stuff, it ticks over, it, it keeps regular orders coming in. Um, it's a lot less work with the listings. I mean, these, for example, we started with, I don't know, 100 and something of these. But it's one listing and we sell all of those products off one listing. It just sits there ticking over. And um, yeah, that's how we like it. A bit of bit of both works for us. So we've done the Builder Bears. We have sold a Swedish clear ice glass bark vase for it went on offer at 26 plus postage. Um, right, I think it's that one. Yeah. It's meant to look like bark. Quite a handsome thing, that's heavy. Oh, that's probably over a kilo. 26 plus post, 32.99 all in. Then we've sold some more heat transfer paper. This will not last long now, down to the last few. Another one of those at 10 pounds. Karen Millen, so going back to the new stock. We spent a lot of money and invested quite heavily in um, 600 pieces of Karen Millen jewellery. Uh, we've spoken about this before. We hoped it would sell quicker than it is, but it is consistent. So it will sell, but it's going to take longer than we had hoped, which is fine. That's how it goes. It, I think it will pick up at Christmas. It's very giftable stuff. Um, but at the moment, it's just ticking regularly over. Some are quicker lines than others, uh, which is to be expected. But I'll show you what's going out today. I think there's a couple of lots. Yeah, one lot of the gold-plated um, hoop earrings and one lot of the stone necklace and the stone earrings. So... Uh, can you see? No, you can't. So I've redesigned, well, redesigned. I sorted out the storage on these so I can access them through these holes now. Like that. So it's one of each of the gold stone necklace and earring. Gold hoop earrings are there. So I'll pop a picture on screen because you can't see. These are the gold hoop earrings. And then we do, uh, we have a listing running of both of these uh, necklace and earrings, as you can see. Right, so that's done. I'm glad that pairing is starting to sell. We've got these on at 25. 
which is a good deal for those um, and they're starting to sell. Right, dog or cat bags, we've done all of those. So the next three are all um, wholesale stuff. We've sold a pack of 12 uh, bubbles. We've sold one of the blue beach blankets and one of the beach blankets in different colours. So back over here, um, box of 12 packs of bubbles in there. Another one of those going. Uh, so blue, blue blankets are down here. One of those. And then these in here. Ah, now I've got one that's packaged. I managed to package two the other day day for some reason but we'd only sold one i did one i did it twice so we can just ship that one out now ready to go job done okay i'm just going to refresh the feed see if anything else has come in no the last item for now is in here you can see it one of them this is a 2001 i think the year was red nose day car nose so you would put this on the on the uh, bonnet of your car <laughs> it's an aardman little face um that went out at 10 pounds plus post 12.99 all in right it's a little bit later now and we've just had another two of the cat bags come in another two orders for those those are selling so quickly at the moment so what i had left from that box i put up here and we've already sold another one and another two so yeah these are cracking along which is good so there you go that is the random selection of stuff i want to change arms because you are so heavy um Yes, that's the random assortment of stuff I now have to package and ship out. So I better get a shift on because I've been doing my usual and messing about and procrastinating too much this morning. And now I've really got to get a wiggle on if I want to get all of this in the post and dropped off today. Thankfully, the post office is a few steps from our door. So I don't have far to go, but I do have to package it all put it all through my uh, online Royal Mail account, bag it all up and get it over there. And there's a few breakable bits and bobs in here, which will take a little bit of time to sort out. But there you go, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will see you again in the next video. Hopefully, if you're not subscribed, please do. It's absolutely free. And then you'll get notified whenever I put out new content. If you want to carry on watching me, check out this video, I will pop up here. If that one looks interesting, Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.